Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another Deathland Tier 2 video. As you should know from the last video that I posted, the dev has carried on developing on the game after he announced that he wasn't going to. He started working on it again, he's been doing some nice updates, some nice balance changes. So, because we're getting updates again on the game, I've started playing again. Um, so we're going to talk about some things that we'd like to see, that I'd like to see changed in the future. Which I really think would make the game a lot better and just a better experience for everyone in general. Obviously I'm not speaking for everybody. Leave comments below what you'd like to see changed and if you agree slash disagree. So if you agree with me, I want to hit you, I want to see a like on the video. If you disagree with me, I want to see a dislike on the video. But anyway, let's get on to the things we'd like to change. So the first thing I'd like to see changed more than absolutely anything. I was talking about this on stream and a lot of people was agreeing with me. The first thing would definitely be the inventory system. So the idea that I had would be leave this how it is. It's not, it's, it's, to be fair, it's not the worst, but to leave this how it is, we just have some extra buttons up the top here. So you'd have like an all button in the middle, um, which would just show you everything. And then like say on this left side you could have equipment which would be like your guns and your clothing and then inside of it you could have ammunition then you've got your button in the middle like we just said then on the right you could have like your medical supplies and then further to the right you could have your food and water so it just make it so when you click on it you can just find stuff a lot easier i think that would be so much better and then if you got your equip stuff here, it'd be good if we could have, do you see the skills and effects? If this was a button and then over here, we had another button saying equipped, or just, you know, this is just a simple thing. You could click on that and then all your equipped items would become, you know, come down this side right here. And you got obviously your first weapon, your second weapon, your hat, your jeans, your sandals, your t-shirt, your gloves. It'd be nice if these were put in a better order. So like say your first weapon, your second weapon, your hat, your top, your jeans, then your gloves and your sandals. Or your sandals and your gloves, like that don't really matter. Or you could even go weapon, weapon, army hat, top, gloves, jeans, boots, something like that. But just pull these over to here, have your skills and effects button, and then have your equipment button like equip so you can click on that and then you can click on like you know you can click on stuff here it says unequip slash discord uh, discard sorry so you've got here skills and effects add skill full stats if you click equip equipment to show what you've got equipped all this stuff will show and then when you click on you know your army hat say what's over here then obviously add skills it changed to unequip and full stats it changed to discard i think that'd be a much better way of doing it all right the second thing we was talking about was a way to speed up the game and improve it i had a friend that tried the game out for the first time today and he said he liked the game like he liked the zombies and stuff like that he just didn't like how slow the game was and i was like dude i totally agree with you 100 percent up until like level 15 the game is so slow up until like 15 20 or something it's so slow so the best way i could think of changing this would be and this will make the game more skill based as well all right so you know this aiming effect like how it slowly goes in just get rid of that all right so i know some weapons actually have it all right weapon aim speed that's one so you get rid of weapon aim speed completely and just have it so it's like this all the time but instead of it when you shoot instead of it going like that you put recoil up so you know, obviously I'd shoot her in the head, pop, my rifle would land probably about here or something like that. So, if you did that, it, I think you'd be able to speed up the zombies because the game, obviously you won't be stood there going bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? You'd be able to just go pop, pop, pop. It'd all come down to your aim. That's what it'd come down to then. So then, because, let me show you an example from a live stream of a level 20 area. This is from today's live stream. The problem with this game is, like I said, it's slow and sluggish. If they got rid of this fucking zoom in thing, made it so it come down to recoil, so it like pop, pop, you know what I mean? Instead of slow down, then you could speed all the zombies up in the lower level areas. Like this is a level, oh, this is a level 20 area and look at the zombies. 
this is my point exactly. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's like, okay, you're scary. Ah, runaways, zombies. Would you believe that these took over the world? Ah. It should be like level one. One to ten area should be like, you get these walkers and maybe like the odd one jogger or so. One to five should be walkers. Number level level ten, you should get a, like one jogger to two joggers per room. Then level fifteen to twenty, you know, you should be like three or four joggers. Then like level twenty, it should be three or four joggers and like one or two sprinters. Then level twenty-five, it should be like three or four sprinters and two joggers. Then level thirty, every fucker bombs it at you. Like, pow, you know what I mean? That's what the game should be like. But yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts on um, the blue mechanic, you know, the aim zoom in. If you just got rid of that effect, change it to recoil instead. Um, so how I'd personally do it, I'd have... This is how I'd do it, this is just opinions, you know what I mean? I'm not like saying, oh, to go do this. Like, this is just my opinions. I'd have your rifles would be um, high damage, high recoil, slow reload. Your shotguns would be... You know, really high damage. Um, like, probably high, you know, high recoil, the same as rifles. And then um, slower, slow reload. But then you've got your machine guns and your pistols. So you'd have machine guns, which would be high rate of fire, slow reload, um, with low recoil. And then you'd have your pistols, which would be low recoil, you know, you didn't pistol rate of fire, whatever it is, and then um, really fast reload. So your pistols would be a, your go to for the quick reload. That's how I'd personally do it. And then if he ever does do assault rifles, you've got that bit of gap between the shotguns and the rifles and the pistols and submachine guns, where it'd be like, all right, medium damage, medium um, reload speed, medium recoil. So that'd be like sat in the middle. And then obviously the faster aim speed would change to lower recoil instead. That's how I do it. I think that'd work a lot better um, because obviously then you could speed up the zombies, the game would be a lot more skill based. Like I said, it's just my opinion. If you do agree, hit that like button. If you disagree, hit that dislike button. All right, so the third and final thing. Um, so as we all know, these new cosmetics have come into the store. If we go down to here, the Desert Rat, Dusk Enforcer, Corp Shooter, Double Shot, you know, all these. So, at the minute the game is lacking weapons, um, we haven't got any high tier weapons yet, like level 30 and stuff like that. So what I was thinking was, why not, these These are already in the game, you know what I mean? These, these are already in the game, so why not use these? Because these are Dead Frontier 1 weapons, so why are they not in Dead Frontier 2? I'd say have them as your high tier weapons, but leave the skins on the market, so people can still buy them, and use them for either leveling up and stuff like that. But, also, people can, you you know, get them at the end game as well. And also, you know, like someone might like the Desert Rat skin, but they might prefer the Dusk Enforcer revolver. So then, you know, they'll probably still use the skin anyway. So I'd say use these weapons, put these skins in the game as high t as your top tier weapons. And then, because then, you know, they're already in the game, so they don't need to be, like, made or anything, because they're already there. All you need to do is put them into the loot system, put them at level 30, and it's giving people a new objective, it's giving people more stuff to do, and it's giving us some cool, cool-looking weapons in the game. And then, obviously, you can expand on whatever you want to do after that. But that's what I personally do. These are just my free opinions on what I'd like to see in the game. Um, final time, hit that like if you like, hit that dislike if you don't like. Um, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see different. Hopefully, Neil, if you do see this, I hope you take some of, the, some of this stuff into consideration. Um, I'm so happy that you're back and developing the game again. And hopefully, we'll see some great updates in the near future. I hope everyone's enjoyed this video. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, I've wasted too much sprint here. Come on, stop. No.